Hello, my dear friends. In this lecture, we are going to study missing orders in a double slit pattern. In the last session, we have seen the Fraunhofer's diffraction pattern for double slit, and then we have found out the resultant intensity and amplitude in that case. Now, it has been observed that or in the last session at the end we had discussed the conclusions obtained from that experiment double slit experiment so the first one was if see this small a it is nothing but the slit width if we kept this as constant and if we vary this b b is what it is a separation between the slits so if we vary the value of b it has been observed that some of the orders of interference maxima on the pattern or in the pattern they have been missing that means what some of the orders like first order maxima interference maxima i am saying about so some of the interference maxima you are right some of the interference maxima is found to be missing is found to be missing so we can now conclude that this missing orders in double slit diffraction pattern ultimately depends on the values of this b especially and again a because here in this case we have kept this a as constant so now we will find out the condition that when which of the orders will miss in double slit pattern so for that purpose first of all we'll write the equations the equations which we already know about it so first of all here write the interference maxima the condition for interference maxima here i'll write condition for interference maxima is it is what as we all know it is a plus b into sine theta is equal to n lambda so here this a plus b into sine theta is nothing but it is the path difference this is what path difference that is equal to n lambda here lambda is nothing but wavelength of that monochromatic light now we will find the condition for diffraction minima condition of diffraction minima so the condition is what it is simply it is a sin theta is equal to m lambda here both n and m are integers and both have different values so now suppose this is suppose equation number 1 and this is equation number 2 we are going to find the relation or the condition for obtaining the missing orders in double slit run of a double slit so here if we take the ratio of equation 1 and 2 so here i'll write this equation 1 divided by equation 2 then we'll get so it will be a plus b into sin theta divided by a sin theta is equal to this n lambda divided by m lambda so here this sin theta sin theta will get cancelled on this side lambda will get cancelled so we'll get the final equation as a plus b upon a is equal to n upon m so this is the what this is the equation by using which we can find out the missing orders of interference maxima how we can do that see first of all first condition we are all right condition number 1 now see if if a is equal to b that means slit width and the spacing between two slit if both have same value then what will happen here this equation will become let this a plus a upon a equal to n upon m so ultimately here 
this will be twice a upon a equal to n upon m. So here this a will get cancelled, and here I can write this n is equal to twice n. N is equal to what? Twice n. Remember that this m is for diffraction, and n is for interference. So here n is equal to twice m. That means what? Here if I write if here the values of m are what one. Two, three. Always remember for diffraction the values of m or for diffraction minima m always start from one. It will not take the value of zero because that will be for principal maxima. So if the value of m if it is one, two, three, and then so on, then by using this equation n will be what? Here n is equal to twice n. So here the values of n when m is one. n will be 2 that is a double so next value will be 4 then 6 and then so on now what does this mean this means that this c n it belongs to interference interference maxima or that is the order of interference maxima n and m is the order of diffraction minima remember that so here we can say that See, these values are equal. That means what? This second order of interference maxima, this one, second order of interference maxima, coincide with the first order of diffraction minima. It will what? It will coincide with the first order of diffraction minima. That means what? Here, this second order of interference maxima that will be missing. Because it has been coincided with the minima of diffraction or diffraction minima. In the same way, this fourth order interference maxima it is coincided with the second order diffraction minima. So ultimately, this will be missing. And in the same way, six and then eight and so on. So these orders will be missing. So here I can write here. Therefore, here we can write these, which is what. Second, then fourth, and so on. Orders of interference maxima are missing. They are what? They are missing in that particular pattern, in diffraction pattern. In diffraction pattern. Now see. And why they are missing? Because they are coinciding with first, second, third minima order diffraction minima here, as they are coincide with first, second order of diffraction minima of what diffraction minima. So remember this one that if the value of this a and b if both have same values that is spacing and the slit width if they are equal then then always always these second fourth sixth and so on orders of interference maxima will be missing from the pattern. So this is first condition. Now we'll go for the second one. Here I'll write condition number two. So now, see if if twice a is equal to b, that means what spacing between two slit. If it is double the slit width, then what will happen? So here then again the equation is what our equation is a plus b upon a. So here it will be a plus instead of b we can write twice a divided by a is equal to n upon m. So now what will happen? Here it will be size of a divided by a is equal to n upon m. So here a will get cancelled, and now we'll get the equation. This small n is equal to three times m. So now this is the condition when slit width is double that of the spacing. So here now again, see here we can write if again the value of m will be what? The value of m will be one. Two and three, so on. 
then now value of n will be what it is how many times it is three times so here it will be three then this is six and nine and then so on so here we can write that which patterns are missing the third order sixth order and ninth order of interference maxima will be missing so here therefore third sixth and so on orders of interference maxima are missing they are what they are missing why because or as they coincide with coincide with first then second and so on orders of diffraction minima so this is diffraction minima so these orders will be missing then again we have another one last condition so here i'll write the condition number 3 condition number 3 so the condition is what if if a plus b is equal to 0 A plus B is equal to zero. Or instead of that, we'll consider another case. If the value of A plus B is equal to A, that means what? This implies that B will be equal to zero. B will be equal to zero. Now B is zero. That means what? There is no spacing at all between the adjacent slits. That means both these slits are joined together. so what will happen here if b is equal to 0 see then then what will happen our equation is what a plus b upon a equal to n upon m then this a plus b is nothing but it is a upon a equal to n upon m so ultimately what will happen here n is equal to or m is equal to n m is equal to n that means what therefore all the orders you are right the all the orders of interference maxima are missing because see here as we know m takes the value as 1 2 3 and then so on and then again here n will take the same values because both are equal so values of n it will be 1 2 3 and then so on that means what all the orders of interference maxima they will be missing from the pattern they will be missing from the pattern and that means what that is the diffraction pattern whatever diffraction pattern left diffraction pattern it is what it will be same or it will be similar when we will consider a single slit of width twice a so when you consider a single slit width of twice a then we'll get the same interference pattern because there will not be a interference as both the slits or there is a single slit only of width twice a so that's why all the orders of interference maxima will be missing so this is what this is all about the missing orders in double slit diffraction pattern i hope you understood everything just remember this formula this one a plus b upon a equal to n upon m by using this formula we can find out which of the orders will be missing in the pattern and mostly there are the numericals where sometimes they ask to find out the missing orders of interference maxima also in university examination sometimes they, they ask the question that you have to explain the front of first double slit diffraction experiment then you have to obtain expression for resultant intensity and as well as you have to state the formula for missing orders in the double slit diffraction pattern so my dear students i hope you understood everything that we discussed in today's session in our next session we will discuss another important topic that is theory of diffraction grating or we sometimes called it as a fraunhofer diffraction 
ड्यू टू एन नंबर ऑफ पैरल इक्वी डिस्टेंट स्लिट्स तो डेफिनेटली विल चेक इट आउट इन आर नेक्स्ट सेशन थैंक यू सो मच